cataractcoach.com. How to remove calcified lens cortex. This is a very tough case with a fibrotic lens capsule and calcified lens material. So look at that capsule. Wow. Put in some tripan blue dye is going to help visualize it even better. That is so scarred up. So there's the viscoelastic tripan blue dye. You can see, wow, that is a really wrinkled and fibrotic lens capsule. Now, this is the case where I'd really like to use that Zepto link device. The Zepto would make easy work of this. But you can see, as you start, you can't really tear a rex here. It wants to just stick at the fibrotic area. So you may have to go inside there and cut it. Yep, there you go. Some micro scissors. Micro scissors going inside the eye to cut the capsule there, especially with that fibrotic band. And cutting again. And so you got to be careful that when you do these cuts, you're going to have a weakness there that could run out. And you may have to do actually multiple cuts in this case. Look at that. This is tough. So we obviously sped up the video here just so we can get through it. And I'm watching the video for the first time with you. So let's see here. Using, yeah, even using that, your blade, your presentesis blade to go ahead and cut through some of that big fibrotic band there. It just doesn't want to come. So cutting now with the scissors, even bigger scissors. Wow. Still tough. And if you're too forceful, remember, you can cause zoller dehiscence. You don't want that. So now look at those. Looks like bandnet scissors. Well, cutting through those bands and even now more challenging. This is a tough one. Very tough. And so just taking your time here is the key. A little more viscoelastic can be helpful. Sometimes you can help dissect the capsule off of any calcified lens material from beneath it. Then you can get the rexes done more. So I like that idea of putting the viscoelastic under the capsule here just to help lift it up a little bit and kind of create some... Um, um, break in some of those adhesions. But you can see how much effort is required just to get this capsule opened. And so finishing that a little bit more, finally got some, some kind of Rex is done. Ooh, but be careful during the case now. Now, to remove the cataract, yeah, you have a little bit of a smaller opening there, but what is that big white sheet? That is the calcified lens cortex. That big sheet there. And it can be very tough and hard to remove. So I like this technique here, just taking your time and trying to get, get it out of there so you can access the nucleus of the cataract. So again, cutting it with these scissors here. These are large, big scissors. And you may not be able to get all that out. Let's see. Yeah, visco, viscoelastic can help. A little viscodissection can be very helpful. And so now, mm, let's see. N nucleus removal time. Where's the phaco probe? I'm ready to rock. So, what's going in? Oh, CTR going in first. Okay. Gotcha. You got to be careful with the CTR. If you don't have an intact capsule or axis, you have those irregular openings. That can sometimes exert some force out there. Now, here is the phaco probe. And so, let's see. The technique here is going to be like a maybe groove down the middle, perhaps a stop and chop. And so, we'll speed through this pretty quickly. And we want to see the end of the case. Because that yellowish is the nucleus. That's going to be removed pretty easily. Yeah, nice, bring it out, stop and chop. That'll take, uh, take uh, very little time to remove. But that whitish area, the yellow is the nucleus. We got that. What about all that whitish area still? How are we going to get all of that out? So more viscoelastic here, and then chop, 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 get that nucleus out. Again, the yellow is the nucleus. That whitish area, can you leave it in there? I don't know. I probably wouldn't want to. Can you dissect it further? Do you want to use an anterior vitrector to clean it up? Here's the IA probe. And again, you may have a hard time just aspirating with the IA probe. So now you've got this big crescent-shaped, fibrotic, calcified lens cortex that's kind of stuck to the capsule. You can see, even though we speed the video up, so much time is being spent just to try to remove it. It's very difficult to remove. So the rest of the bag looks pretty clean. And so what we got here now is maybe a little more viscodissection. See viscoelastic going in here. Lens first. That's always a good move. I like putting the lens in the eye. Get that underneath there so you've got some support now. There we go. And now the micro scissors again, trying to cut it a little bit. Maybe it can be peeled away. Again, viscodissection sometimes is helpful. There you go. Some viscoelastic. Grabbing it with the forceps. Oh, look at that. There's a break. It's coming up. There you go. It's, you broke some of those adhesions. Fantastic. Able to get that up. Hopefully get that whole thing out. Let's see. A little bit left. You kind of don't want to leave it, right? You want to go and get all of it. Just got to be careful with that capsule. You don't want to tug on the capsule too much. 
there's a delicate balance here. So pulling on a little bit, looks like it's getting freed up. And again, just takes time. Hey, look at that. I think it's already out. Hey, wow, beautiful. That's a neat case. So I've not really seen a case like this on my own. This is very interesting. And I like the technique here. So thank you for sending this video in. That was a lot of fun to watch. And I'm sure this patient is absolutely thrilled. Now look how pretty and clean that capsule bag is. Ooh, beautiful case. Thank you for watching.